The Metropolitan Police Commissioner of London, Mark Rowley, has made a controversial announcement that has sparked widespread criticism and disbelief, both in the UK and internationally. Rowley has threatened to pursue the extradition and imprisonment of US citizens who have made online posts related to the recent UK riots. This declaration has sent shockwaves through legal and civil rights communities, raising serious concerns about the implications for freedom of speech, as well as the jurisdictional reach of UK law over foreign nationals who are posting content from abroad. Critics argue that the move represents an unprecedented overreach, with many questioning the legality and ethicality of such actions. Legal experts have pointed out that attempting to extradite individuals from another country for expressing their views online could set a dangerous precedent, potentially leading to a chilling effect on free speech worldwide. Furthermore, the implications for international relations are significant, as this stance could strain diplomatic ties between the UK and the US with some fearing that it might lead to retaliatory actions or a breakdown in cooperation on other matters of mutual concern. The announcement has also ignited a broader debate about the limits of governmental authority in the digital age, where the Internet blurs the lines of national borders and traditional legal jurisdictions. Many are concerned about the potential for abuse of power if governments begin to assert control over individuals in other countries based solely on their online activities. Human rights organizations have expressed alarm at the possible erosion of individual rights, emphasizing that the threat of extradition could be used to silence dissent and stifle free expression, particularly when it comes to politically sensitive topics. In response to the growing backlash, some have called for clearer international guidelines on how such cases should be handled to ensure that the rights of individuals are protected while also addressing legitimate concerns about incitement and violence online. However, the controversy surrounding Rowley's statement continues to escalate, leaving many to wonder how this issue will be resolved and what the long-term consequences might be for both international law and the protection of civil liberties in the digital age.